Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. In my last video, it was my first look at Magic Samplitude Pro X8 and I went um, around the new features and I skipped one, which is called Audio Warp. I thought it would be a long video, but actually it isn't. So <laughs> that's the video about Audio Warp. Let's dive in right away. All right, today we're gonna check the Audio Warp new feature for Samplitude Pro X8. Uh, let's test that directly in the software. I have two different uh, recording of the same vocal and we're gonna try to align them together. Let's listen. Some parts are okay, some aren't. A car was stalled, the engine was dead. I could not stop, so I swerved to the right. I'll never forget a car. Okay, so the there's a few things we're gonna zoom in. Uh, so what you need to do uh, to use this feature is to change your cursor to pitch shift time stretch mode. So you just have to click the before and after what you want to move or stretch. Um, it's yeah, we're going to go there and then I just grab it and you can move it. Okay. Um, actually, the length of those are okay. I'm going to just click here and stretch this one a bit. Yeah. And see the this sound isn't aligned at all. So um, <clears throat> what you may want to do is cut instead. So now I'm going to... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I can move it. Okay, that's not good. And if I take the end, it changes like this. And if I take this, it moves everything. So you see there's a limitation if you want to not change the length of something, but just move it. You uh, still need to go and click on T and then you can move it to uh, to place it at the right spot. So let's listen. A car was stalled. Okay, it's a lot better. Let's uh, continue. The engine was dead. Okay, here it's not really perfectly aligned. Um, and yeah, this could be a bit further back in time. I don't think we need to stretch it though again. So we're going to do T and then at the end T and move it. The engine was dead. Yeah, it's more like it. Um, let's continue. I, I could, could not stop. Okay, see this is longer than this one. Um, this seems okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to stretch this first. Like this. Oh, see? That's not bad. Let's listen. I could not stop. All right, and control Z. I could not stop. Okay, the stop isn't quite good. And we're going to do redo. I could not stop. So I swear to the right. Okay, the right is a bit longer here. So we can do the same thing here. And here, and then grab it and make it longer. I swear to the right. And right here, this isn't aligned. So we can go before. Uh, Right here, up to here, I, I guess. Okay, let's move that. Okay, let's listen. So I swear to the right. Yeah, that's better. So that's the way it goes. So in the 
early versions of Samplitude, there was some stuff you could do. Uh, in the object editor, uh, you could uh, make the a part longer or shorter of an audio file. And now you can do that right on the object. So it's pretty fast. Just remember to change your cursor mode and it works really nice. So if you have uh, four different uh, back vocals and you want to align them manually, you could. So I hope uh, you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button. Consider subscribing. Hit the bell to get notifications. Go in the description. There's some links to buy magic products. Uh, you won't pay more, but I get a little kickback to the channel, so it helps me do more videos. And of course, another way to help the channel is to click on many videos and listen to them and share them. It's always a great help.